Dear Mom, it's from my son. Your toilet tissue isn't soft enough, so I went to the library forever. Love, Bobby. He's such a card. It's from my daughter. I ran off with a motorcycle gang that had softer toilet tissue. <laughs> Lulu, she tried to warn me, but I just wouldn't change brands. <sighs> Come in. Special delivery. <laughs> Dear Mom, it's from my husband. <laughs> Mentally, I just couldn't cope with our toilet tissue, so I quit my job today and ran off with a lady chiropractor. The two of us are living now in Arizona, working the earth, praying for a good harvest. Sure, it's a simple life compared to what, compared to what we had, but after your toilet tissue fiasco, this is what I need now. Someday, perhaps, we'll see each other again, if not, We'll work something else out. <laughs> oh, who would have guessed that I would ever have gotten a dear John toilet tissue? <laughs> oh, what else can happen to me now? <laughs> from my neighbors. We don't like your toilet tissue, so get out of the neighborhood. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, not the jolly green giant too. <laughs> Think, honey. Well, I don't know. I kind of like the big one. His case fascinates honey, me. Honey, he's too old. Besides, you see the way he handled himself in that fight? I want a son that's athletic. Oh, oh, uh, you can't. Uh, It's a lot better when you have room outside. Yes. Can see. Uh, Do you mind if we just decide on our own? On your own? Yes. Uh, oh, sure. Go ahead. Thank you. Mm. I, Honey, still I don't know. I think well, one little boy that was. I, I, it, <laughs> you know, this is an important decision for both of you, and I don't want to interfere. You know, I mean, it's your life, and of course it is my life, too. I, I don't know if you know what it's like not to have a mommy to cry out to and you're in pain. A lot of times when I was hurt, I would just sit there and yell. Didn't have a daddy to play catch with. I just take my ball and glove and then... Just throw the ball and then go get it. And then throw it and go get it. Then throw it. Go get it. Then throw it. Go get it. And then throw it. get it, but I know it's your decision, so I'll just leave you two alone. I'll be over here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There are no such thing as werewolves. Oh, listen very carefully to my story. I have twin sons. One son is a werewolf. The other son is a lead singer in a rock group. When the moon is full, you couldn't tell them apart. Go raise children. Well, I was just wondering if you're as flamboyant around the house as you are on television. I am a, a very good guy. Yeah. 
Well, I can see that. I was raised on very strict. And if I say something bad, my mother will wash my mouth out with soap. <laughs> you. Well, Simba, you lived out there in the jungle. Yes. Yes, you did, Simba. Yeah, yes, you did. <laughs> no, I wouldn't lie to you. I'm not jiving you. <laughs> Do you? <laughs> well, Simba, Daddy and I had a talk today, and, and we both feel that it's better for you if, if you go back out there and live amongst your own kind, Simba. It would be much better for you, too. Yes, Simba, you, out there, in the jungle. No, I'm not. <laughs> You'd be much happier out there with your own kind, Simba. Please go. You must. You must go. <clears throat> yes, you're right. I'm sorry, dear. I shouldn't send you out there on an empty stomach. Um, I know. I'll give you something that you'll have to get used to while you're out there in the jungle, Simba. <clears throat> Raw meat. <laughs> yes, Simba, raw meat. <laughs> reconcile yourself to eating raw meat. I mean, out in the jungle, you're not going to find bowls of meat byproducts. <laughs> what do you want out of life? In the here and now, please. I'm an old woman with a few short years left. <laughs> I would like my daughter to accept my household hints with a little good grace and without snapping my head off. I am only trying to help and make that two before shack of hers we live in fit for human beings. <laughs> and I would like to watch the wrestling reruns on TV at 6.30 instead of them damn tattletales. And I would like to have a daughter who treats me with a little bit of respect instead of dragging the family name through the mud by going crazy. <laughs> 
Is that all you think about my problem? Dragging your stupid name through the mud? Don't you care that your little baby daughter is on the verge of a nervous breakdown? Why not your Nothing has changed! Just like when I was in kindergarten! I Did you forget about kindergarten? <laughs> now, if, if you two don't release each other from this stranglehold you've got on one another, you, Eunice, are gonna continue to have fits and keep breaking things, and you, Mrs. Harper, are going to curdle up into a sour little ball. And then you both, you both are just gonna dry up and blow away. Oh, well, I knew it would come to this. Thank you very much, Missy. I have taken ingratitude, disrespect, abuse, and back talk from you for your entire life. And I'll be darned if I have to take it from some damn sassy-faced catty quack. Fully on Yui! <laughs> You see? Well, she's no picnic. <laughs>